we are in Trichy, South India, Tamil Nadu, in Sri Rangam. Uh, it is a place for uh, butterfly conservation and a uh, lot of monarch butterflies. There are variety of 5,000 butterfly species, but the particular butterfly is called monarch butterfly. That is the butterfly uh, uh, is found commonly. So there got to be at least some few thousand butterflies here, but the project has not yet started. At the back of uh, me, you can find um, a satellite kind of um, image there. So that is the place where they're going to um, uh, cultivate the butterfly, the monarch butterflies. So probably a few months time it should be ready. Uh, but now we find little butterflies, but not much. But you know, when you go to Mexico and South America, and you find that monarch butterflies is uh, uh, swamped in trees, millions and millions. Uh, so that is not the case here. But there are no flowers here. But it's run by government. I give credit to the government of Tamil Nadu, Mrs. Jayalalitha. She is doing a wonderful job of conservation, conserving butterflies. So when you talk about conservation, I need to talk about Pope Francis. I should include him because month of June 2015, he wrote an encyclical called Laudato Si, in which he talks about the biodiversity conservation. And the first chapter, what is happening to our common home, he calls it. We all share the same planet, the butterflies, us, and my friend Manova Das, and the uh, filmmaker uh, Pinto, uh, the people those who sit behind me, and the flies, and the frogs in the pond, snakes in the land, ducks. all of them, the ducks, we all share their common home. Um, I mean, only one home all of us have. There is no other home. And if we destroy this home, there is no other home to go to. So that is what Pope Francis is writing in the first chapter, what is happening to our common home. Actually, it's a very, very scary when you read it. And Pope Francis is discussing very openly, and he's telling 30% of life on Earth is already gone extinct. Only 70% is left for the future generations. Uh, I mean, with the human activity, uh, in fact, he points, humans are the cause for this mass extinction. And even scientists agree with that. There have been five mass extinction, extinctions happened in the planet's history. That's what we learn from science. But the scientists call this one is the sixth mass extinction. So that tells you the seriousness of uh, uh, the matter. So Pope Francis is calling the world leaders, especially the church authorities, like bishops, cardinals, archbishops, priests, nuns, laity, to take charge of this planet and uh, to do something to save life on Earth. And uh, after all, human beings, God has given all the riches to human beings, but not to exploit them, to use them in wisdom and uh, take care of them in responsibility. In other words, it is not the use. Use is okay, but abuse is what Pope Francis seems to condemn. So I think Pope Francis has done a good job, and we need to conserve and if at all our health, the, the future of our planet depends on biodiversity. Uh, if all creatures flourish, humans flourish. If they go extinct, there is no chance. It's a mathematical certainty that you have to face your own extinction. So butterfly conservation is excellent. I congratulate our Chief Minister, Mrs. Jayalalitha, for doing this wonderful job for saving butterflies. And she becomes a, a apostle of butterflies. And I hope in Tamil Nadu, we need to take care of all life on earth. Don't hurt them, don't abuse them, and don't 
persecute them, just allow them. That is what God wants us to do. Thank you.